Hello and welcome. This is Thomas Umstadt and welcome to today's Umstadt Media Guide to Using WordPress. So today we're going to be learning how to wrap text around an image. So here is on umstadtmedia.com as you can say, see here we have text and it's wrapped around this image. So to do that we're going to go over to one of my blogs, Practical Courtship, and here is a draft. And this is a WordPress 2.7 by the way. Uh, you may be notice that this looks a bit different from the older 2.6. This is the um, beta um, and it will be coming out soon once all the bugs are worked out. So here is a post. Uh, as you can see it's all text. Uh, there's no images. So the first thing I want to do is I want to upload the image. So to do that, see where it says upload. I'm going to click here where it says upload an image. And this will bring open uh, this window here and this is where you can upload the image. So I'm going to click upload. I'm going to come over here and grab the image. So this will scroll across, although this image is very sl uh, small, so it'll, it didn't really scroll, it just happened instantly. And then it's a good idea to title uh, the image because um, this helps with search engine optimization. So I'm going to just title this uh, courtship lower... I think I'm just going to call this courtship and then for the caption, two people looking at each other, or something like that. So um, this you can do or not do, it's up to you. Um, so right here we have the link URL and the description, you can put description here for the image, which is good uh, if you have people visiting your site who can't uh, see, uh, for blind browsers will read the description of an image to someone and this also is somewhat helpful for search engine optimization. So as you look here this is alignment and this is where you can align the image. But for right now I'm going to assume that the image is already in your post. So we're going to have the alignment, we're going to keep it at none and we're going to have it be a full size image because it's pretty small. So we're going to click insert into post. Um, oh and it, as you can see it put a uh, caption here. That's so you can keep the caption or you can delete the caption. We're going to uh, delete the caption. Um, but what we do want is we want this to the text to wrap around. So to do that we click here where it says edit image and it, that is only available for just a short time. So we're going to click that. And this opens up this window here. And this is the image as you can see and these lines represent the text and this represents the size. So you can make the image smaller if you wanted. I'm going to keep my image at 100%. If I click left, as you can see, the text wraps around the image. If I can click right, it wraps around the image the other way. So we're going to do left, and then I'm going to click update. And now, as you can see, uh, the text has wrapped around the image. Now, to get a feel for what just happened, right now we're in the visual mode. We're going to go to the HTML mode. This is the code. And one of the things you notice is that WordPress automatically will insert a link. You click on an image and it will open up a new window with that, with that image, or actually the same window with just that image, so, which is helpful if you have a thumbnail because it will open up the full-size version of the image. But since this is the full-size version of the image, we want to come over here and break that link. So this is the link, as you can see, it's linking to that image. This button right here will break it. And so now the link is gone. So now if you go over here to HTML, it's put in, this is the image tag, and you don't really need to know this. Don't get too scared by the code, but it is important as you're learning WordPress to get a feel for the code. So um, as you can see, the class here is got um, a line left as one of the attributes, which is causing it to align left. Now, this is not best practice uh, to, to have a text wrap if you're posting to a blog. And the reason is because the um, feed readers that people are reading on don't interpret the style sheet that causes the text to wrap. And so it will look different. It won't look quite right when they view it. And so if you notice, most blogs don't have it wrap. They would instead opt in it. Since this is a blog post, I'm actually going to use probably this mode here where the text does not wrap. But if this were a static page, like the one I showed you on Umstat Media, where it's only viewed in a browser, you really do want the text to wrap, because that white space isn't, very, isn't necessarily very professional looking. So we have the text to wrap. Now, one last thing before we quit. You'll notice there's a little bit of space here in between the I am unaware here 
is a little bit bef below the image. The way to fix this, or the way I fix it, is going to HTML here, it shows you the code, and just taking this up. So this is the end of the image tag. This big long thing here is what inserts the image into your post. So as soon as it's over, this is the closing part, then boom, the text starts. So if you look now, it's starting right at the top. So that's how you insert an image. The quick and dirty way to do it is to just click on the image, click edit, have it wrapped to the left. That's all you need to do. This is Thomas Umstadt with the Umstadt Media Guide to using WordPress, signing off. Thank you very much.